Hello everybody, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Karen Barno. Welcome to my Facebook Live. If you have any questions or anything, jump over to my website, karenbarno.com. If you're on Facebook, go check out my event for September 29th. I'm very excited about it. And if you are not receiving these notifications when you're there, hit my notification button. Shoo, I think I got all the stuff out of the way while I wait for the audience to jump on in. Hi Shelly, how you doing? I want to talk to you today about midlife. People love to use the mid word midlife. And it seems like all my friends, when I say all my friends, I mean the 40 and 50 year olds are like, mid, midlife's coming. Don't you love midlife? Midlife's awesome. Now I have nothing against the word midlife, but to me, midlife makes it sound like this is it, folks. It's all downhill from now. We're in midlife. We're in our 40s, 50s, 60s heading downward now somebody that works in senior housing and you have to be a hundred years old for me to say oh she's old I mean, now families call and say well my mom's getting old she's 92 92 doesn't cut it my world you got to be a hundred years old for me to say hmm that's old so you can imagine where the bar is for me on midlife but I just think it sounds so old it's, it's like an old-fashioned word that's been around forever that we need to decide today no more I love the word, the words act two. Because if you watch plays, act one, act two, act three, if you watch plays, the first act, act one is you're trying to figure out who the characters are, what is their story, what's, you know, where are we going with these characters, what are their good parts, bad parts, it's all the introduction. And for most of us women, the first 30, 40 years, we're just trying to make it through. You know, we're married, we have kids, we don't necessarily get to sit down and say, man, I really want to have this job because we get into this job and it's like, oh, I like this job. I could do this. So you do that job for, you know, however long. And then you, you think, oh, I don't really want to do this anymore. I'll go try this. But when we hit our forties, 45, 50, we start looking around going, you know, what else is there? What else could I do? What can I do with my first 40 or 50 years? to make my next 50 years awesome. And that's act two of a play. Act two is the meat of the play. It is, you know the characters, you've embraced them, you're into them. I mean, if you read my book, Blue Rose, Blue, Blue Rose Bookstore, yep, shameless plug, The Journey of Healing, behind me, available on Amazon. Annie, you go through her first act, but act two is when she gets to the city of Blue Rose, and you find out what all she's gone through in her life. So let's get rid of the word midlife. From now on, ladies, let's say we're in act two. We're in the best part of our lives. We've learned so many lessons. We look around, we're much more relaxed. We're not hard charging, you know, make sure we have our kids in the best school and, you know, make sure we have the best outfits on. You know, we're more laid back. We're more like, you know, do I really need to shop at Nordstrom's? Do I really need to spend $150 on a tube of lipstick? We start kind of getting real because we're comfortable with ourselves we're, we've grown into that character that we developed in act one now in act two we're, we're comfortable in our own skin you know I remember this book it was a huge book I don't know how long ago called when I get older I'll wear purple now I didn't get it because I was I'm the type of person I was just gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway so I didn't understand it it's kind of like the book who moved my cheese who cares just go find the, da the damn cheese never got that but now I get what it means because there's so many people that hesitate to step into who they are and be their true selves that they need to be freed. And that's what happens in act two. Act two, you're free. You look around and say, you know, my career is wrapping up, you know, now if you're 40, 45, 50, you're not saying that. Really at 60, you're not saying it either. What do they say? 60 is a new 50 and that's so true. You know, I thought when I hit 60, I'd be done. That's it, done, wrapping up, calling it a day, going home and retiring. I can't even imagine the retire. I can't even, I think, what would I do all day? After I got done traveling, of course. So, you know, 50 is a time for you to look around and say, who do I wanna be? And that's, my, that's the population I coach so much of because so many of people that I know that are 50, they have been taking care of so many other people I don't want to say pleasing because it may sound you know like what well, people pleasers but they've been so busy taking care of everybody else taking care of the workplace taking care of their family and it doesn't matter. I mean I have the most supportive husband in the world trust me when I tell you this he is amazing 
but you still you're giving to all these different factions and you're so you know so busy trying to succeed that you get to this point you look around and say okay I made it what's next I mean how many of you have sat there and said okay what do I do next if I don't do this forever what do I do next or if I retire what do I do next and that's the fun of act two you get to figure out what's next and then when you get to be 90 we'll say act three happens about 90 and 90 is when you kind of start looking around and saying okay I'm, you know probably gonna not wind down and become an angel yet but I might retire I and mean, my goal is to retire when I'm 90 I look at people you know that retire and are 60 and 70 and 80 and, and I always ask them what are you gonna do next you know and if you retire and golf and travel that's awesome but it's the people that retire and it's like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I guess I'm just going to hang out. I can only hang out for so long. So I want everybody to commit. It. We'll raise your hand to the pledge. Commit that you're going to stop using the words act two. I mean, I'm sorry, midlife. And you're going to go with act two. So when you hit 40, 45, I don't want to see my post said, you know, midlife or, you know, my one friend who's, I think like 41, 42 posted something yesterday. I, I'm entering into midlife. Who says that? Act two. Okay, so I hope you all agree. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're interested in coaching with me, it's over on my website. If you're interested in going to my um, event on September 29th, it's on Facebook events. I am here to help you. I am here to help you step into your true self. I want to encourage you. I want to empower you. I want to do whatever it takes for you to wake up one morning and say, damn it, I am awesome. Because every day I get up, when I'm on this side of dirt, it's all good. I hope this helped you guys. Talk to you later. I know I have a very busy day today. I'm off to the golf course. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.